some sort of hexagon. <laughs> Welcome to the Worst Damn Crypto Show, period. I'm your host, Romanian Dan. I got with me Famous, the CryptoToLearn.com guy. And I got tapped, but his connection's bad. Uh, Philadelphia's going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> oh, he's back. What's up, man? You guys are Super Bowl bound? The Eagles? Let's go. We're live. Listen. <laughs> go Eagles. Fly. Fly. Eagles fly all that last night, man. <laughs> <laughs> the city was getting wild. I and the cops, and the cops, the cops, so the cops, Eagles are going the, dancing and jamming with everybody. Oh shit! So actually, they're going to the Super Bowl. I'm not. I'm not keeping track. Yeah, yeah, man. Yes, we sir. the in the C. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know why my camera is like this. Talk about being in bullets or something. It's going to be all right. Speaking of, it's going to be all right. Everything's all right. Updates. So, guys, this just in. You heard it here first. Pulse chain test net to be is live. It's been live. You can go right now, collect your copies, go test it out. Okay. Let's do a tutorial today. Let's go see. Let's go show people how to swap and provide liquidity. You could do it. I'm not set up on this computer. No, it's, it's new. I'm telling you, it's brand new. Pulse chain to be, to be. Pulse chain to be, yeah. <laughs> it's coming. No, pulse chain to be, not V to be. Pulse chain to be, testnet to be. The new testnet. Pulse oh, chain testnet to be. Funny. So, from now we're gonna we'll go check it out. <laughs> so what's so going tap, on? Tap, want to show us? <laughs> Tap's been doing some undercover work, man. He's been taking white chicks to a different whole <laughs> level, except he didn't go white. My knees are tired, man. I'm done. <laughs> he's like, man. Uh, he's like, we had, no, we had no, we had no more, no more flour. <laughs> I was like, fuck it. <laughs> I just got the Karen wig on from from Halloween. So this That's just in. That. That's a, that was all. I have to smoke one for Jim Rat because he quit. For how long? Like a couple quit. weeks, right? Yeah, man, he quit. Rest in peace. It's okay, Rest man. Rest in good. peace, you dirty rat. This guy, bro. He quit what? <laughs> this guy, bro. Why, why, he loves why, me. Why? What do you mean? He loves the rum. Rome always pumps his show. Yo, Rome, when are you going to get Tony on here? Oh, God. Come on. See, I, one time I like told Tony he's a piece of shit, and then he made me feel bad. So I, I don't know. I don't know what that guy. He's good. He's good at what he does. He shows garbage, but then makes you feel bad for telling him he's shilling garbage. But if he wants to come on, we can. He's not gonna want to come on here. Is he? I, I'm telling you, we have the best pitch. It's like, yo, dude, you want to come on? Oh, yeah, why didn't you invite me? Okay, we want to come on the Worst Damn Crypto Show. <laughs> What's it called? The Worst Damn Crypto Show. Oh, shit. But, yeah, man. 
We're just chilling, guys. We're just chilling. We're going to read the chat. What's up, Hexy Quinn? What's up, Alan? Just chilling, guys. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for the love. You know, Crypto Alan, Gains said man, today to, to pack your bags and get your tickets. So uh, whatever that's worth. He thinks we're going up. I just, I just, I just think that, um, I don't know, man. Hello, rumors Tyler. are, rumors are, yo, what's up, Chronic Carl? Yo, what's up from Toronto, man? What's popping, bro? How's it going, man? I heard you guys got all kinds of fucking snow, man. My mom showed me pictures, man. It was in Montreal, bro. Well, holy shit. I'm so happy I'm here. I thought it was cold here with my fucking hoodie on. I'm looking at a pictures, man. My fucking car parked in the driveway. It's, it's packed, bro. It's, I'm telling you, it's hilarious. You don't even see the car no more. It's insane. There's snow everywhere. Everywhere. It hasn't stopped snowing. So, so I, hope you're, I, hope you're, I hope you're warm, man. Stay safe. Merry Christmas again. And uh, yeah, man. Thanks for showing up, bro. Appreciate it. Be safe. <laughs> Grab a beer, smoke a joint. Just chill, relax, man. We're just going to explain to you what a t-shirt is. So make sure you get high enough so you can understand. Tell them about the NFTs. Oh, my God. Up, just... Okay. This this is the new your tab. If I ever hear you shilling staking it again. I'm going to call you a noob, and I'll explain to you why, okay? We're not going to go and tell them to stay anymore. Fuck it. You want? You don't want to stay? Fuck it. For the last year, guys, it has not worked. We are repulsing people. No one wants to stake their coins. We want to stake our coins, and we're doing it more. So that being said, let's keep all the rewards for us, but let's explain to them something else. It's intrinsic. And it's ironic because we're technically not. But why? Why would someone buy a hundred dollar NFT? Why? Why would you go ahead and take your hundred dollars and give it to someone and get an NFT when you could have your hundred dollars and have an NFT? It's free. All you got to do is pay the transaction costs. It's free, right? It's free. Nowadays, everything's free as long as you pay the transaction cost. So this is the deal. You tell them, hey, man, you want an NFT? Well, the NFT, not only do you not give the money to the guy, not only do you keep the amount of coins, not only do you get more coins, not only are you able to borrow some coins, not only are you able to sell your NFT, But you're doing it all decentrally and you're never giving anyone money but yourself. Why would you give someone a hundred dollar NFT? I mean, why would you give a hundred dollars for an NFT? So I think that should be the new play, man. Um, because like, think about the consequences, right? You explain to them this, but you never mentioned one time hex. They're going to look at you and be like, what the fuck is this guy smoking? How do you do this? What kind of fucking NFT is this? And then you grab their attention. Instead of acting like a dumbass fucking Mexican that goes ahead and says, bro, you know you got to do his T-shirt. T-shirt. Stake it. 38%. Trust me. Best thing. Mutable. I don't warn you. Wear the shit. When half of the community is not. I know I hate saying this, shit. but it's the reality, yeah, guys. Must have definitely shit. This is the reality, man. People are leaving. People are switching up, which is wonderful. This is the most bullish signs you could ever see. After all the negativity, after all the bullshit, after all the shit talking, after everything that everyone has said, after all the switch-ups, 
after all the oh my lord did that hexican actually say that or do that or post that or make a video content of that we're still here we're still at that price we're still getting our yield every day we're still profiting off of other projects creating stuff for our ecosystem which will eventually make us money how can it get more bullish than this max post chain baby. launches maybe max pain baby post chain is over man post chain launch it's over your dreams over your copy get your dream of getting oh, copies I can't is wait over to just it, this clock Done. starts once it launches Bro, you know? the hardest part that people don't get is this motherfucker launching bro Yo. listen i've been in the trenches Yo, you think someone's gonna be able to hold said, on to the Yo, tap. Yo, tap you're getting a hundred times your money tap you're getting a hundred times your money brother you're gonna wait for a thousand i'm gonna wait for a thousand listen and all i'm to keep it all the way 100 like think about the normal like the keep it 100 bro. sit down no 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 like i've been sitting down thinking myself like yo i've been 100 x i'm saying all this good stuff what am i not really going i got bills i got that if i see that Yo, man, that's what i'm saying some, and, and you think yeah, a lot of people get, won't see that to get some you think you think profits. after every you think i understand i understand and you have the right to do so and i'm expecting it because you know people that have never been through it you have to understand something right 100x is minimum bullshit bro that shit like nothing is it's not what they do like every bull run um what? like no. average it's like it's like but what coin like, you're talking about you're talking about post chain because there's there's different hundred like x's like if heck okay. if hex does 100 x and we're at the bull like if i look at the overall market and bitcoin let's say charts. is like 120 right and go we're in the, the end of 2025 and i feel like the bull's over ah, and i'm seeing everyone chart. on tv's fucking crypto crypto how many crypto. people you, how many people then you i might go, sell a little bag if it's 100x and i feel like we're at the top you know how many people you know invested in the ico of bnb nobody i know how many people you know invest in the ico nobody. of eth Len? Nobody. I don't know. Nobody. How I many know people it. you know about Polygon, Avax, Kate.io? Um, I just met one person. I guess you. There's a couple of people. No, no, there's a couple of people. There's a couple of people. Not that many. So when you take that chart and you go bring it to the to some of the beginning or the lowest part, everyone's like, shit, I wish I would have done that. But in reality, you know how hard it would have been for you to do that? Because there's not that many people that did it. Now, when you go look at the numbers, right? <clears throat> Everyone wants to talk about there's a lot of people in this shit. A lot of people sacrificed. Do you think a lot of people really did sacrifice? So we already know that hexagons have this ability at first to have gotten multiple wallets to spread out their hex. Some did, some didn't. But it was a thing. You had the referral. Next, something that a lot of people would have done if they were experienced and they understood the security aspect of crypto is that they would never have done many wallets. They would have had, oh, sorry, they would have had many wallets. So being able to do that for so long and having this already habit of having multiple wallets, getting all these Uniswap, you know, like just, just we, you, you learned with time and crypto with, with your experience to get more than one wallet so now with pulse chain you look at the pulse chain sacrifice right we had about i think it was between 40 to 60 thousand stakers so you have to assume two to three wallets per person 
So that means only those amount of people from those stakers could have known about this. Yes, there's a percentage that might come in that are new. So you're looking at like a 10%, 20%. Let's be nice, right? 20% extra. So we're looking at an extra 10,000 people max. So we're looking at like 20 to 30,000 for Paul Stein, actually. And then we got to see like in that one year, did everything grow? Did we get that much adoption? Did this shit go viral? Um, I didn't see that many new people. Yeah, there were new people. We saw it grow. I think it did grow. But I don't think when you look at that 40 to 50,000 wallets and then it grew to like 120, that just looks like to me the continuation of a habit. So could there have been more people than Pulse Chain? I don't know. Well, 100%. What do you mean? You don't know. You could. It's a few months later. Obviously, more people found about Pulse Chain and Richard Hart and Hex. From July to, I think, when was the Pulse X Act in January? So the six months later, yeah, there should be at least 10,000 more people, 5,000 more people. So we're looking at what? 40, 50? Yeah. Maybe? 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 Yeah. Give or take? Nice? Yeah. Ni like like being nice. Like we're being like very courteous, right? Because like everyone has like three wallets. I, I don't. I have one. Um, I don't know who does has multiple wallets. Uh, all the people that I've told that's hacked have one wallet. Um, okay, cool. So we do have one wallet. Yeah. Okay. That I sack with. <laughs> so okay. we look. So let's go. So so now we go look at EtherScan, and if you want to pull it up, go on the ERC twenty tokens, right? And you go look at. These are people that hold something on ETH. So now you go on the um, on the top ERC twenty tokens, and then you see on the on the right corner on the right column it says completely the holders, right? So don't look at USDT. Don't don't look at like all these fancy coins that are already on exchanges because they have this thing called every person gets an address. So the address is specific to that person, right? So when people are talking about USDT and all that stuff, the, the top tokens, the top tokens. So you on top, when you go on top, you're not looking at, you're looking at just the top tracker. When you go on to, uh, tokens, yes, ERC20 top tokens. There we go. So click now we look. Or no? Huh? No, don't then, click oh, holders. Okay. Okay. Don't, don't, don't leak. So now you That's look at the I holders, do. right? Okay. So there's 4 million USDT. Now, people need to understand, this motherfucker has been existing for a long time. So there's been a lot of people like myself that have never kept the same wallet for that. Reused the wallets, reused wallets on different exchanges that generated you new wallets and you could generate new wallets. That's one thing. Two, because you can go look at how much wallet, how much percentage are in the top wallets because that's the redistribution of this. And you look at this is top dog in exchanges. So everyone who has an exchange and like I have like what eight exchanges. So I have technically eight wallets and I'm one person. Okay. So we don't look at the number top. So then we go down BNB only 300,000 people can have it. Binance USD only 177,000 people can have it. And mind you, this is top coins. Like these are the top used coins. Matic only five, 600,000 people. Right. But then you go look at things that are like, small but growing they're there they're up and running they're they, they have they have ex experience you know okb it's an exchange it has fifty thousand people fifty thousand holders then you have staked ETH from Lido. only one hundred fifty five thousand. so you're telling me that there could have been more people that got into paul sex than there are almost this amount of people that are staking on Lido. And then you go look at like, uh, let's go back down. Forget about these quotes. Shiba Inu, that's the same shit. All generic, all on exchanges. Look at Uniswap. It's only 370,000 people that have used it, that have the token, that received it. Could have been more in experience, like throughout the time, but like, look at that. Look at Rap BGC. There's 62,000. There's not that many people. Chainlink, same thing. This is these are these are top notch coins that are already on every exchange. And you go look at these coins, like it's 
there's not that many people. There's not that many holders. So when you look at when you look at hex, you're like, okay, cool. So like if we look at the thing of times three, then we might have like a hundred thousand holders. Now, maybe, I don't think so. Around there, I think seventy uh, to hundred k. I, I, I think being three each is being very nice. I think it's being very nice because just in the last year, the wave that we've preached is never used more than two on one wallet. So the way people have been doing their wallets, and personally myself with all these airdrops. I have all kinds of wallets. So these old holders have been going up. We've made like this 20,000 holders in, 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 and I don't know how long it's, it's, it's definitely us doing that. So when you look at the other coins and you continue going down, you could see there's a certain pattern and amount of holders. So that's the only way that I look at it and say, okay, well, there couldn't be that many people. Because what are the chances that that's more popular than any of these things that are already yeah, look, sucking? Look at Phantom, money? and they only got 100K. <laughs> uh, but that's an ERC-20 if you go on their, on oh, their okay. things. All right, okay. But like, I'm just right. saying, I'm just saying, like, you know, Staked Ave, there's only like 20,000 holders. You got Frax, only 8,000 holders. These are things that are being utilized like a motherfucker. You got True USD, only 51,000 holders. This is worldwide. Got the Huobi token, same thing, 50,000 holders. I don't know. You tell so it me. looks just only the hexagons are in post chain. <laughs> no, what or I'm saying is that most maybe of these 10, other people <laughs> is that maybe everyone's in everyone on Ethereum is gravitating towards hex already and just no one knows it well i know out of that 317 like twitter, they air dropped a lot on twitter uh, too we're not that many we're not that many people you know we only get lives of like three to like six seven thousand people on, on richard's channel when he's streaming you mean yeah uh, uh, yeah uh, uh, uh. Maybe Telegram, how much are we at now that they, they bought like there's bots and everything on Telegram, but like Telegram. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I would judge that, but let's check this. Our, out. our spaces, I mean, when it's heavily packed, it's like two, three hundred. So, how is there fifty three? You see, there's fifty three thousand members for PulseChain.com. There's thirty four thousand for PulseX. Forty six thousand now. Sorry, we're, but like, there's less. There's only forty six thousand in the Telegram. How, how, how many of you think of those people actually sacrificed? Now, a lot of hexagons did it. So am I? Do you so so with hearing that? Do you think I'm shitting? No, I'm not shitting. I'm, you realize how cool this is? How much more bullish you are? How much more early you are? How much more rare your tokens are going to be? Definitely. How it's a lie. How people yeah. making you think? How people are making you think that you should do something because everyone wants to do it when everyone doesn't exist. So it's the same people that want you to do it. Why? Because there's not that many people to do it to. You know, people talk about vampire sucking, but they don't realize that it's like, well, if you thought you were a lot, then you would be considered a vampire sucking. But if it's not, then it's a strategical strike. It's a strategized strike. And you're not realizing that you're the pawn, you're the strike, you're not the people around you. So it's like everything that you've been subjected to, it's like, are you really acquiring something that's going to do better than everything else? What was the intentions of that? Your intentions were to flip it. So then you're not a real true hexagon. You're not a true blooded. He's back. Just think about that. that. But it's okay if you're not. Because it's okay if you're not. You're still accepted. 
It's just don't cap and don't say you are. That's all. I feel like I am. <laughs> I'm not. But yeah, I don't know. I don't I know. I can't be a, a forever. I can't be. Oh, of course not. No, but I don't know. I'm just saying it because it's like the, the community splitting up and then just, I'm just be honest. Bit. I'm just saying, be honest. Just, just, just be honest. Like people just need to be honest about this. Like they're creating conflict, in my opinion, for no reason. It's like it's okay. Yeah, I mean, what, I dabbled. The, what, 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 what is? Oh, I, I dabbled in other things, but not a lot of my my bag. She needs my attention, bro. <laughs> Did you give her the mic? Jesus. <laughs> She's right here right me. <laughs> Sorry. Tell her what's up. <laughs> How much hex you got? Tell her. She's taking it. <laughs> no, she sees she's like, no. It's fine. <sighs> but yeah, man. Yeah, man, it's fucking, we're so early. Like, that's what people don't realize. That everyone's like, oh, I missed a sacrifice. I just laugh when I hear that because <laughs> I, I look at what Ethereum did. You could have got they, in that. They, they missed the sacrifice. You know. It is what it is. But I'm just saying, if you didn't. Yeah, but even if you missed it, I feel like you're still going to get it at the max. Like, if you're the first few days at a 10x than where it was. And then if you wait, it's going to probably drop where you might get it at a 3x or something from sacrifice price what people you know? didn't realize is that everything you got for free could have just gave you got your free pulse or pulse x yeah are you doing that strategy uh where you're, you're gonna get some other erc 20s 100%. yeah I, mean, I got a couple 100%. other ones too 100 percent. i'm probably some of them i won't them. do it like some of them i won't do it because it just won't make sense but i'm definitely planning on that those are the sacrifice that's the sacrifice for me. Is okay. I got free shit. Now let me go get what's the most important. So he's saying he's gonna he whatever coins he got for free, he's gonna swap them right when it I'm launches. Not, for I'm pulls. saying this is what this is what people. If are the doing. ratio is right. Yeah, but this is well, what that, doing. that and mate, I don't know on when yeah. uh, ETH Fair and ETH uh, POW launched. You know, a lot of people got a lot of hex. With that strategy, so it multiple could work times, well. Um, not just once. Trying to multiple. acquire polls. They got it multiple times, though. You got to emphasize on that. Multiple times, not just once. Multiple times. We were there. I, I remember. I was in Spain, chilling. My fucking friend was like, "Bro, you fucking, you're fucking on the laptop. What the fuck are you doing? We're chilling, bro." I'm like, "No, no, no wait. <laughs> Let me wait. <laughs> Give thirty minutes." Yeah, but I'm actually very. Anyways, it's just. There's going to be an opening. Just like right now, there's an opening to buy. You continue buying every week. Doesn't matter the price. If it goes if it goes to back to 55 cents, does it really matter? Two, three, four, five cents? If, it, if you say it does, that means your greed is really bad. That means you're really greedy. And this is my opinion. You're really greedy. If you think that you're not satisfied with a one, two, three, four, five cent hex, and then it goes back to its all-time high, Man, you greedy as fuck. Man, you. Oh, I'm greedy satisfied. Fuck. Yeah, bro. I, people I don't are greedy as I, fuck. I look more at the exit price than my buying price. I'm just. I, I'm not even, I didn't even mention exit price. I didn't but even mention exit price. price. Do you realize we're I'm all? A, I'm a good hodler, man. It goes man. back. I'm, I'm everyone. You, no, but do you realize that, like, right now, if yeah. that shit goes back to fifty-five cents. Everyone around you, everyone you know, everyone we've been in contact with, everyone in this community that we've been around for the last year is up. Yeah, yep. yeah, of course. More people are going to be up than ever. Yeah, the OGs will be back at their all-time high, but we'll be up too. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yo, yo, think about that. The next all-time high, if most of the hexagons, like, like, holy shit. Everyone's going to be up. And if we're not that many people, then that means not that many people need to be like, I don't even want to explain it. 
Like, imagine we're less than 100,000. Imagine another 100,000 and another 100,000 people. It's possible. Shit goes to like 300, 500, 600,000 holders. It goes viral. Paul's chain goes viral. It's a crazy amount of access, especially for 25,000 people. Just on adoption, you get 50 times more people to quote unquote dump on. All I know is Hex went up to 10,000 10, times with 62K stakers. So I don't, it can do a lot of damage with not a lot of people. In my opinion. She said, I want all time highs in there. She's like, buy That's more she now. Said. This offer's too strong. <laughs> it's making too much sense. Buy more. Fuck. There's no more food. She's lit. <laughs> give, give her your tip. <laughs> no, her, she's got too many teeth now. Her. Yeah, but all that to say, man. Um... Right, let me grab some food real quick. Be right back. Yeah. yeah. I think, like, I'm going to choose my words carefully like Elon Musk. Um, we couldn't have done it better right now. The infighting, the haters, the competition. I wouldn't want it any other way. Like if we were winning more, it wouldn't be as sweet. And if we were losing more, and it would just wouldn't be as good. Um, why wouldn't it be as good? Because more people would be hating us and then more people would get hurt from it. So right now there's a certain balance where enough people hate us. Just enough to be salty so that, that we can help enough people. Remember that. That's the balance. So right now I feel like we're at this moment where it's like... <sighs> Unfortunately, unfortunately, someone ate the apple, and now we have to have to deal with the consequences. A lot of people ate the apple. <laughs> you understand my analogy, and uh, now we gotta take the consequences. But it's okay, man. It's, it's what you do as a community. It's what's supposed to happen because it's like the next movement in crypto happens whether you like it or not. Remember that it happens whether you like it or not. It's the next movement. And, um, shit. Pulse Chain could have stopped the L2 movement. Pulse Chain could have stopped the L2 movement. Because think about it. If they figured out, or if they pushed ETH to put out their mechanism, their consensus mechanism. Because they were like, fuck the L2s. Because, uh... wow, that's actually crazy. I didn't think about this. What if Pulse Chain helped Ethereum come out? Because it wouldn't have been good for the L2s to gain fucking strength. That's a crazy battle strategy. Like, fucking. Like take a hit, give it to them first. You get you, you get the ability to see their mistakes, and at the same time too, you cancel what the you cancel the L twos like little fucking minions come in. Yeah, Trap Gravity believes that Richard forced uh, then it's like, Alex Hand to release two point oh. Stress test all summer the bridges. And then a massive hack hack happens where the money gets returned, technically. And then they change the whole way of making the whole pulse chain. I don't know about you guys, but 
I know crypto too well that there's more than just coincidences. Let's talk about a hundred percent, man. Which one, dude? Games Club, man. If you know, like, <laughs> oh man, I don't even want to say it, man, because people just don't deserve that game theory. And um, what do you mean? There's thirteen people here. Come on, we deserve. It. <laughs> it's going to be a crazy people move, man. It's like a lot of people are going to be able to do whatever they want with it. And it's like they haven't understood the ETH W and like owning ETH W and ETH Fair and understanding that like when it was working, which it still can, by the way, just needs, it just needs liquidity, which is not hard. It works. Once you have the liquidity, you're able to do things. And if you strategize and position yourself at the beginning, which everyone's technically going to do. Uh, yeah. What do you think, Trap? What do you think, Tap? Are you there, Tap? Sleeping. Now I'm here. Fuck you, Sean. Go to bed, I've been man. Listening. It's fucking one o'clock. Of course I'm sleeping. If you don't like it bad, get give me my buddy back. Well, anyways, you guys, yeah, I have my I have my theories, I have my ideas. You guys can hate it or love it. You can hate it or love it. It's the way it works. I don't know if I should ask you this on so stream, smart. but what's some Stocking uh L twos like dicking the L twos? Hey giving guy. Crypto to learn guy. At the same time, being able to play on Ethereum because you realize Binance had flaws. He does. Because I remember he, he even said it. Like, spaces. Oh, I know you can hear me. Binance and he made it public, and then boom, <laughs> next thing you know, massive. He is like, boring you. <laughs> and no one ever put two and two together. All right, I won't ask my question. Maybe it wasn't him. Maybe him saying it made people Actually, look. Can a question. I remember around that time there was mm, everyone was busy, and you can figure out if everyone's busy. You just go check in the right place. It's magical land. And, um, That's fun to be at. It would be crazy, strat, strat, strategic. But the I'm always way off, the right? Went down, oh. down to five dollars. I could be wrong. Because I'm not spending money on. Yo, congrats, Andy. Can you hear us, Famous? You're done with your rant? Your 13 viewers deserve your alpha. No. Thanks, Chronic. Appreciate it. How can he not? <laughs> his, I don't his, know, man. His probably I his headphones. His faces, I give more alpha, more insights. Here, I just like talking shit, you know? It is what it is. Yes, and you're talking shit and not even responding to us. Oh, man, it's going to be crazy. I just told him to turn Can on his headphones. Can you hear us? We've been, we've been talking to you. He just had a monologue. We, we were trying to say something, but. Uh-huh. You can hear me now? Can you hear me now, famous? What? The bra. Can you hear me now? God Can damn! I've been talking this whole time like a doofus. No worries. You can hear yes. us? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I can hear you now, Tap. I thought it was you, man. I don't know what happened. It just stopped. Yeah, I was going to ask you a pretty noobish question, um, but I would like to hear you inside. I don't know if I should ask this on air, but. Um, so I've been telling a few of my friends, obviously, when Pulse Chain launches, they have, the ones that haven't gotten in to get in, right? So mm -hmm. the strategy I've told them is whatever you want to put down, you spread it up in the first five weeks, and you just buy a fifth of that every week, unless it, like, dips 
over i don't know 60 percent or whatever and then you put a little more maybe you double your buy um but what do you think of that the first five weeks one one buy a week or how would you play that obviously it's all speculative and not financial advice and all that but since you're so smart your friends ever done uh uniswap before yeah really yeah that's where they go to buy uniswap.org yeah but yeah, like i mean they're they, just market buy it that's what it, is, it do. doesn't matter it doesn't matter we want them to but um <laughs> <laughs> what i mean by that is that they're they're used to this whole like go on a website do this approve swap do this put it in your wallet check your coins yeah i mean i'll our, probably have person. to walk them through everything on the phone when this when everything happened well it, it, okay wait, so, so 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 like they're not used to going to look at the rpc changing the rpc and then going on the website well clicking a, on the swap. a couple of my well one of my friends has done it one time with me on the phone everyone else have never so your friends are screwed another. your friends are screwed well what do you mean they they uh um, they're screwed they're screwed they're not going to be there the first few minutes no they're not going to be there the first few hours probably not um but I can easily. I yeah, think your friends most are Most of them are gonna buy the next day or whatever when I have time to get on the phone and show them. Exactly. So they're screwed. They're screwed. They're personally How? screwed. How? Can... Why? Because they have to what? trust you. Oh my god, bro! What do you mean, man? After a year and a half of doing it, well, after a year of yeah, fucking, I have it. It's and important. you're telling me that I'm not telling you. That I'm not. I'm not preaching you the hexagon ways by telling you your friends are cooked because they can't do it themselves. And that they have to trust yeah. you, third party. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah. But they're not they're not believers, no, man. They're no, not no, like no, one no, well, I got no, one no. friend that actually like <laughs> bought more on the dip. Everyone else I, I should be telling you, make them buy and don't give a fuck. I should be telling you that. But what I'm I am trying telling to you, maximize what I'm telling their... you is they're screwed. You know they're screwed. Don't lie. You're gonna look at them and say, "Man, I re you really." The thing is, is that you really want them to succeed because you know it, and they're not in your position, but you think they could be. But they're gonna get screwed because one mistake, bro, it's done. And then you have all. Might as well have just given the money to you. And then that's it's the same thing. It's like if you tell them what to do, then they might as well just give you the money. Like if you're there, like oh, do do this right now, yeah. and they don't understand what the fuck they're doing. You know, FaceTime, yeah, man, you're doing yeah, them. you're doing the right thing by trying to get them in, but they're yeah. they're getting they're getting they're getting. Well, most of them don't want to put the time to learn. Uh, so then, most, too bad, man. <laughs> yeah, Bro, everyone wants. I could, to make I could barely everyone convince make, them. everyone. Everyone wants to make a doctor or lawyers pay, but they'll never do the free work at the beginning. I could barely. I asked my cousin for like nope. a year to buy the shit. I could. I literally just convinced her to get Pulse Chain on Saturday. I was over there, and yeah, she's just gonna buy it by following my direction, and that's it. And uh, they're screwed, bro. We'll see what. I mean, we'll you see. should might. You might as. You might trying as to help well, her out. You, you you might as well just take the money at that point, bro. I just help her. Nah, she's she's pretty smart. She'll get it. Don't worry. All right. All right. I mean, I'm just well, all they do is just follow my instructions. They're not gonna go and click on random shit afterwards. I tell well, them that's pretty to, smart they don't, too. They don't, they don't trust touch my their... Oh, I'm not asking them for their shit. I tell you them you are. You trust you're asking them you're at, you're asking them to trust you and you're trusting them. Yeah. So how else would you uh I don't Say trust I you go, for nothing. Go, go at this. Why, why you? Why you? I don't trust you for nothing. Why you think I bitch at everyone all the time and tell you all these fucked up shit? I don't trust no one, man. I'm gonna make sure that you trust yourself. So what's what up, do I sausage? tell him? Oh, I'm sausage, not gonna help boy. you. Yo, I'm not sausage boy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the factory? <laughs> it's the fucking picture, man. He's stuffing them right now, Papi. He's a fucking farfalle, bro.
I'm angry on you, famous. You didn't inform me. About what? Bro, this guy, I send him the fucking link every fucking week for like 10 world. weeks in a row. He never comes on. The one time I don't send him the fucking link, he's in the chat. Where's the fucking link? <laughs> and he jumps off. Now he's angry. Yeah, so don't Come talk on. to me. Oh, man. It's okay. It's okay, Sean. No update. What are you doing? Still up, man? It's almost two o'clock in the morning, man. No updates. What are, what's happening with the news, man? Come on, it's. It... This is your no time to shine, this. Poppy. Just read read some titles. I'll put you on the big screen. Yeah, man. You can practice. <laughs> Shots. 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 Sean, man. <laughs> Sean's on, Sean's on some. He ate some mushrooms for dinner with some risotto. Today, I was actually really busy. I was with friends because I'm up to keep party and actually, so I haven't been near the computer. Today, but the why does, his, most why does his voice sound so like more like it sounds different? Like no? what? It sounds more, because more boyish. Voice, it sounds voice. like you sucked on helium. More, more high like pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it sounds like you sucked on some helium every time you come on. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm using voice changer. Oh, Trying to look you. like the, my, my avatar. Ah, I get it now. Sean's a yeah, hacker. Anyway, from it's famous. You don't speak English. Yeah, no, I hablo, hablo. Tu ten poquito. I don't speak Spanish either. Imagine that so. No, 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 hablo inglés. And then they start speaking. Oh, no, no, I don't speak Spanish. Oh, man. So, anyways, I'm about to go to sleep. I have some really yeah. The news today was, uh, um, uh, if you remember, famous we talked Uniswap uh, uh, moving to. So now it is approved, and they're gonna do that. They're gonna probably have be. They will exist on both chains, and then why do you fuck? You're laughing. Uniswap is going where on both chains? Two chains. Uniswap gonna be on BNB as well. Binance BN, B, BSC. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, the other thing was a uh, contract with, I don't know, which partnered with uh, some. And then. Uh, Binance and Visa gonna do something on Bra in Brazil. Deals, I think. Yeah. So these are the things that. I oh, thank you, Sean. That's. You're not interesting. Welcome. Thank you, Papa. Yo soy tu papa. So what's going on, Tab? What you been up to? Man, I've been working out more. Get, being a hexagon. And a lot of followers and engagement on there. It's pretty funny. Let's go. Cool. Damn, I wish I could have one of those beers right now. It's looking good. These are the mini beers, man. Look at this. It's just a small little motherfucker, man. I'm going to show you guys a trick. I 
call this Sean the ringer. Is it an eel? It's a buck, super buck. It's a set of Asian. I don't know what is this. It's a lager. Cerveja lager Portuguesa. Yeah, it's a lager. Yeah, it's a kind of beer. It's like a yingling, it looks like. You ever had those famous? No? Yeah, super buck. Sponsored. Are we? They're paying you? Where's my cut? I'm sponsored. You're sponsored. You know, the famous foundation pays for it. <laughs> you said, where's my... Well, if you came here, you would have for free. Yeah. Just come on down. I got all kinds in the fridge. All kinds. Why am I the 30s? Are you guys talking? No, nobody's saying anything. It's kind of awkward. Just like the spaces. It's Sean. Sorry, I'm doing laundry right now. <laughs> yes. Yes. This guy's live. He's like, oh, he, he's alive. working for the devs. <laughs> he's like, bitch, I ain't get paid. I, I was doing my fucking laundry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can't with y'all. Oh, shit. Man, man, Sean, these olives are so good. Enjoy, enjoy. You don't stop, Is that stop eating. Never. I love you. Cost me too much in Canada, man. Too much. It cost me like hundreds of dollars a week. With the cervezas or the olives? Everything. No, oh, the, all the food. The cerveza was like. Yeah, it's expensive. Everything's been going up here too, man. If I were to drink it the way I drink it now, fuck, it would cost me like 150 bucks a week. One hundred percent. What's up, Torin? What's up, Hot Leg? Yo, Hexy Quinn has been making some killer ass videos on TikTok. Oh They're yeah, really some Why of them. Yeah, we should Jeff play them. Yeah, I don't. She, let me she, see. She's honestly been making dope ass videos on TikTok. Unless she reports us live. Yeah, I'm not gonna, using my yeah, that will be some. no, but some of the some of the TikToks, if they, if it's got music or if we use like a movie uh, scene, they're gonna get. You can't play them on YouTube, really. Well, that's so stupid. Yeah, it makes no sense. But they yeah, allow people really to do it anyway. Yes. But it's like, but I find anything I want on YouTube. How? That shit has millions of views. And then us. We have fucking five viewers. You put a one fucking Drake song <laughs> and she gets shut down. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it either. Then they <laughs> shut down. No, but they have the but they have the Drake song playing from not Drake. It has millions of views. I don't know. You ever seen those channels that uh, constantly play like Top hits or country hits or whatever. How do they get away with it? I'm so confused. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know, yeah. And, they you know, they say, oh, if you change the RPMs a little bit, you turn it up, it's not. But come on, there's no way. Like, Well, technically, if you, like. Yeah, but you still get copyright, bro. Like, I got copyright for the dumb, like. 
Yeah, I know. There's strikes, there's claims, there's copyright claims, so it's not a strike, but it still affects the algo. They say it doesn't, but it does. It's yeah, it um I mean TikTok censored like a motherfucker. Um, you know, I'll post a video on there of someone getting shot in the head, and then I'll post a video of like you know, against the war or something like that in Ukraine. And yeah. that as sensitive content is the against the war in Ukraine. It's Violation. literally a it's a cartoon of Zelensky pressing a button and then it turns into like blood and then it turns into gold. It's a cartoon. That's violent co- or sensitive content, but like I have another one that's someone getting shot in the head. It goes right through. Or like another a, a picture. A picture another of, like, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 wait, a picture of what? I, you know the conspiracy bot on Twitter. One time I posted a picture of Hillary Clinton, kind of insinuating she's a killer. Just the, it was just a picture, and like that was sensitive content. I had to take that down. Just like, okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm 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 gonna get it one day, but I'll get banned one day. Fuck, I don't know how you guys. Everyone gets fucking banned. It scares the shit out of me. I don't lose my shit. Day is coming, bro. I know. Whatever. Damn. Okay. I was gonna say, in other news, we're making, we're gonna have a, we forked traps T-shirt business. So we're gonna have the shirt called "Let the Record Play." No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to try doing some, like, um, Spaces t-shirts and stuff. Get people's, like... I don't know. I was thinking about getting t-shirts for, like, already existing people and have t-shirts for them and draw, make logos. Why not? Have some Hex logos, do some Hex stuff. I have a, yeah, I have, I'm down I have to help creating funny stuff. I got a lot of ideas, but mm-hmm. yeah, if you used to give me the the size of the the logo or whatever, not logo, but like an actual like funny shirt with the sizes I need, I can go and Photoshop and create whatever. I just need the dimensions. And yeah. another news too, we're going to be also doing a fucking definitely a Portugal meetup. So, um. We're gonna do a Portugal beat up with a real estate bucket side to it too. We'll go check out 100% because uh, everything we're pushing the idea hexproperty.com. We'll check it out. Yeah, man. What is up, boys? What's up, Alan? How are you? much, man. This is a disaster. 100%. <laughs> You Jesus already know Christ. what it is. Yeah. No wonder you guys kept telling me to come on the show. Yeah, Crypto Kindness asked me to put this. Or sorry, Crypto Kindness. Uh, Crypto Gains Club asked me to put this up. I'm not sure why, but. Uh... So so I, I just want to say something, okay? Nothing wrong with Jack Levin. Nothing wrong with Crypto Profeta. <laughs> like. That's enough. All right. That's good. <laughs> oh, come on. Like I like I really like Jim Rat, man. Yo, damn. <laughs> you are the pocket, damn. Like no, like yeah. I like I resp- like I like like, like no, no no like hear me out. Cuz like Cuz like the guy's human, man, right? So like regardless of he does a lot of good. And he has helped the community a lot. And he's grown. And he's, bro, he's become very smart. I hear him talk now, and I when I used to talk, hear him talk before, and, like, dude, the fucking guy is fucking super smart now, bro. He knows a fucking shit ton of fucking crypto, bro. He speaks like he knows it. And it's hard to speak like that. Ain't and he definitely knows it. Jim Ray. Sounds like shit. Jim Ray. I don't give a shit what anyone has to say, but he'll, he'll, wreck, he'll wreck some hexagons in fucking theory. <laughs> nah, straight up. 
Yo, Rex and Mexicans in theory, bro. Straight the fuck up. I'm sorry, it's, sorry to say that. I'm 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 a real motherfucker. I I like saying I like the guy. I, I I can't wait to meet him, have a beer with him. But like, it's just it is what it is, bro. The rest I don't know. But Profeta is chill, bro. He's always been chill, bro. He's always been a, a, a you know. A, he, I don't want to say know it all because that's a bad word, but like he knows it all, right? He's been in it. He's kind of like my experience where it's like you, you had to touch so many things that you just help everyone understand everything. So shout out to Crypto Profeta. He's really, really also very intelligent, has some good learning. And he's, uh, man, I hope he actually, he pushes more with the, with the Spanish community because he's very intelligent. Um, Jack Levin, you know, he... Yeah, he's just, he's intelligent. You can't hate intelligence. So um, it is what it is, right? He did what he did, and it's all a game, and it's, it's, you know, as long as you win. So you can't help, you can't blame him for wanting the best for himself and his people and his coin and his project and his vision. So you got to respect that. You got to assume it. And uh, he could help a lot of people. He could. So, uh, the rest, uh, they're all sweat. I don't know. I don't know who the other two guys were, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, um, never, never. Crypto we kindness, the Joker. we know him. Uh, crypto no kindness was him. Did, did he used to show a lot of stuff, or was he just mainly hacks? I know he made his channel maybe about a year ago, and initially it was just hacks. Okay, man. At least that's what I remember. He's a nice guy. He's I'm a nice not 100% guy. He's a nice, sure on that. He's a nice guy. It's just, it's just, it's just Joker, man. Joker. Ever I'm since I told him Joker. that, ever since I told him to play the actual part, man, it's like I respect him for being the Joker. But not, and now he just copied the WAP, man. Did you see what he did, man? He had to take out the makeup. He had to take out the makeup. He looks like a straight WAP. No, I, I'm guy. blocked. I had, I follow him on the, or. I, I tweeted at him. Like a straight walk. No, I'm man, he, has the the he has the track suit with the glasses, bro. He thinks he's famous, bro. Straight he's up. funny. He's funny. His posts are all zen now. It's like, it's going to change my life. <laughs> Gross. This is life changing, guys. Wait, really? Yeah, he's zen out now. But I mean, I'm sure he still posts about bro, it. Where are you been, I don't know. Have what do you mean? I don't bro? follow it. He blocked did me. You and just then... see, did you just see yeah. Joker and Gemrat on the same stream? They made up, man. Well, oh, yeah. I'm telling you, I do not keep up <laughs> with the mama damn business. Man, you be smoking. Yeah, you're, you're, you're better. Yeah, you're better off. I've been busy that. in the DMs with them boys. Yeah, them that's boys. what that's doing. <laughs> I'm busy. I'm, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I'm busy. Get shot excited. He's going to get shot excited, man. Stop, man. Yeah, hold on. Let me holler at that. Put that back, bro. Yeah. Two hundred thousand yeah. X. Holy fuck! <laughs> Tap. Badly. That's how he's getting back. Vacation. That's why you left McDonald's. You left for Wendy's. You're like the new Popeye girl. <laughs> left for Wendy's on vacation. He <laughs> <laughs> How tendy are your Wendy's? <laughs> no, like, right. KFC's, the, this. KFC's daughter. <laughs> Look at KFC's daughter. <laughs> KFC's daughter. <laughs> KFC and Popeye had a kid. <laughs> I didn't know who it was. It's like, which one does it choose? It's confused. No, oh, that looks like female Kimball Slice. <laughs> Yo. In peace. Yo, all I gotta say is the UK yeah, fucking TV shows are the most racist of a shit. Did you see that? Did you see? Did you actually see that channel? I said this before, and it actually made a meme about it on TikTok. Now that white girl that just brings black guys to go eat chicken. <laughs> what type of shit, <laughs> bro? I swear Yo, to tap, sign up for me. reparations, bro. <laughs> That's what it looks like. There's this English girl. I swear to God, just goes and asks guys questions, right? And she just invites black guys to this. And there's just a bunch of black guys, and she brings them to go eat chicken. Yeah, and the chicken famous. place is called Monkeys. <laughs> famous. That's called reparations in California, bro. 
bro. I don't know how she's not lying right out. now. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear, go check it out, bro. It's that fucking English chick. She's like, what? and she she's like, the show? She, I don't know what. I definitely don't know her name, bro. I, I just, I just, I just, I, I was like, I never What's realized the name. name of the show? <laughs> But I was like, bro, this is fucked up. Cause like I always ended up seeing it. It's it's, it's just a white girl with a oh, what's it called, man? Just white white girls eating chicken at monkeys. Oh, oh, it's uh her name's Amelia. The white girl, I just oh, found the video. Look at the place where they're they at. Got, got no oh, pics out there. Yeah, that's what they showing on TV. They just don't care. I see. Oh, okay. Bro, it's, it's so bad, bro. That was funny. I I, but still, it's worse than Family <laughs> Guy, bro. It's worse than Family Guy, bro. Holy shit! But our Simpsons, like, oh my god. Like I was, I've been watching The Simpsons. The Simpsons when it started was pretty chill, man. It was pretty cool. It just sucked in the cartoon. Like it was good for the time then, but like, fuck, it was so much. Anyways, I feel like it's redundant now. It's like Sean. It's like, it's like oh. Hold on, is Sean using a voice changer? Sausage boy, you there, puppy? Yeah, he is because they don't want to yes, know who he is, man. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, so oh, now, now you sound like D Raj. That's perfect. <laughs> Yo, D Raj Moore was on solo this morning. I watched a little bit. That's awesome. Yeah. It's a great show. He 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 could he could be the host on this show for sure, hundred percent. Oh, he'd be great. Bro, do the late night stream, man. Late night yeah. stream with Diraj. Yeah, that'll give uh, Thoughts Child a run for his <laughs> ask money. Ask, oh my stream. god! Oh my god! We should do a petition right now to get Diraj to do the audio book for Sci-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Hey, yo, let's do it right now. We need a petition. I want Diraj to do the audio, the next audio book, or at least uh, fix the world, or even the prologue. Of sci five. He's a doctor, right? Allegedly, but uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I he's mean smarter, he says he is, smart. but I don't know. Yeah, no, he's smart. It's just we should donate to the English. cause right now. We should all donate it and tell him to uh, to actually take the time for that. But look, even Hexy Quinn, I'll sign for that for real, bro. Yo, 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 yo. I'm doing. I'm making a post right now. I'm doing it right now. At as J Wild tag him in it. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Can yeah. we get at D Rush? What's this thing? At D. It could be Doctor D Rush more. I don't have him. What's this thing? Hold on, I'm looking it up. What do you mean I don't have Doctor D Rush? Oh, it's D H. Yeah, D Raj was an inspiration to me because uh, I watched him and I was like, if this guy can go on and stream, I can go on and stream. Mika, so. there's a hundred fucking D Rajas. Okay, I. I oh, D Raj won. That D. Rush. He posted in the comment, it's famous. It's. You got it? Yeah, yeah, faces uh, famous as like out. He looks it's great. Diraj, D H E E R A J underscore one. Diraj. Diraj one. I gotta look up famous. Did you post that famous? <laughs> we will pay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta look it up now. <laughs> we will sacrifice. To I, hear. I would send like under five dollars. I will. We will sacrifice to hear <laughs> D rushed. Yeah, I'll send them some dodeca. That's fine. Send them some zen. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Send them Luna, Dodeca, OneCoin. What else? Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash. Yeah, I can put the. Let me know when you post the famous. I'll put the the link in, in the chat. Yeah, I keep refreshing his Twitter page. Nothing's coming up. Is it the pre-log? Yeah, it's called a pre-log. Ain't not a prologue. Pre-log. Is it a pre-log? What's the beginning of a book? <laughs> Pre-note, maybe. Let me see. Let me Google it. It's not the prologue. The prologue is at the end, no? Preface. A cafes. What? Pre preface. Yeah. yeah. It's a what? Preface. P R E face. F A C E. Nah, there's no oh, prologue. Preface. Okay, prologue. P R O L O G U E. Oh, it is a prologue. Okay. So I was right then. Sorry, guys. I went to school in French. Fuck you. In French. Is it prologue? Wait, wait. And then he surrendered. Prologue. What she is. Wait, sausage boy from Mexico? <laughs> no. De donde so vos, chavalo? It's me, Sean. Pinche puto, ¿por qué me estás hablando así? No hablo español. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, señor sausage boy. I speak six languages, but not Spanish. Taco, taco. I'll... Yeah, let us know when you tweet it out, famous. Yeah, he's he's writing uh, the whole book out right now. What are you doing, famous? The tweet, bro. How many know, characters? Man. Like 162 characters? Is it? It's actually, how do I check? I can't even check, bro. I'm so gay. Ooh, wow. Taps out. Connection. Connection's dead for tap. No, tax. Is, she's gone, bro. Tapped out. You know, I think it'd be a good idea to have uh, Diraj on here, considering how much trouble everybody has with their internet on here. It'll fit right in. It should be like an unedited version where he can't read the word and be like, fuck, how do I say this? Nope. <laughs> he just says it like three or four times. <laughs> Uh, or, like, or both oh, versions would be great, you know. Oh, he should do. Uh, he should do uh, a reading for hooked on phonics, the raw style. So what you been up to, Alan? I don't think we talked in a few weeks. Um, just a uh, whole lot of shit going on in the house. But uh, other than that, just watching the char uh, the the charts, listening to famous going off on Twitter. I don't know. Let's go. A little bit of this. Look. Yeah, that, that's been fun. I pop on there. I listen to him. He's going off about some NF, NFT thing. Got to put him on there, this and that. They'll never know. I was dying laughing when I heard that. It's and the funny thing is that people will actually fall for that. It's not bad in an idea because it's not even about giving them the NFT. It's about getting them to ask you about Hex without Yeah, but they, yeah, at Hex. some point they will. At some point, yeah. That, that, that's a pretty good idea. Because if you just say, hey, I can get you an NFT that does this, that does this, that does this, that does this, and you can do this and keep your money and it's free, yep. then the person's going to look at you and say, how do I do that? And you'll be like, well, you, you could do it by, by getting one of these cryptos. And these cryptos get you like, you know, these things called, you know, and you can say that like, you know, and then they say, oh, well, what crypto I need again? And you're like, oh, you need to get this crypto hex. And they'll be like, okay, so I just get hex. And like, and then you explain them. And then they're listening and they ask questions. 
So they're intrigued. And you know how, like, if they're interested in even making that, because it's like if an NFT can give them that, then they'll just get, why wouldn't they get hacked? You know what I mean? If like, an, like, you just have to make them understand that, like, they think that NFTs give them more. But if you make them think that they're getting the best NFT, but then at the end of the day, it's hacked, then why would they get an NFT? Brilliant. So... Remember, man, I snowed, yep. I sold I sold snow to Eskimos, man. <laughs> uh, like they like to be called ice people. Actually, Get I sell houses to people I don't I can't even talk to. Cheers. Igloo humans. But um well, we got four votes already, hundred percent. Let's go. Yo, I want this at a hundred percent. If someone <laughs> says no, I actually gonna lose my shit. The two of those are me. Now get your hopes up. I know, man, but that would be so cool to have actually a hundred percent on this. Nah, come on. There, there's trolls like imagine out there. two, three hundred. So like, no. Yeah, Bro, but even it, the, even it, the it, haters it's gonna be like want ninety this. plus percent. Yes, in even, my opinion. Even even the haters would want this. Nah. Yeah. No, they won't. Here's the thing about haters. I was having a conversation with a buddy of mine. I almost like ripped his head off. Talking about something, politics came up, this and that. Like this person's bad. And they in his head, it was just like this person's bad. No matter what always they do. Politics. It's always oh, yeah, politics. Well, yeah, he brought it up though. You know, it, it landed there because we were we were having a, a normal conversation and then logic came into the mix and he couldn't mm -hmm. handle that, right? Because logic, who needs that? And uh, he just starts going off in this, right? And I was like, listen, what if the bad person did something good and saved your life? Like, I don't care. So these people don't care a lot of the time. Some will. But some people are just like, I don't care. Cut my arm off. I don't care. I don't want that person touching me. So they'd rather lose a limb than having something that they hate help. And that that's the tough part, right? And I think over time, they just, unfortunately, sometimes they have to learn through pain. And this is like a 52 year old I was talking to. <laughs> so, you know, just throwing it out there. Yeah, I know. I did this. I look just like you, famous. I was like, dude. Did it just rain on your parade? <laughs> no, man. Me, it's just like, I understand, man. It's like the conversation I had to had. Like, the funniest time was back in the day when, like, uh, I think it was in uh, when Binance first opened and like we were using it and like I was like, yo, man, we could buy, you know, like we could buy these things, like these things, Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. And then I remember he, and this is when I knew that like I had to change the way of like a lot of people think about this like this. They'll tell someone you could buy a Bitcoin and then they'll look at them and say, I'm not buying a Bitcoin. I'm not buying Bitcoin. I have to buy one Bitcoin. What the fuck? I'm not buying a Bitcoin for fucking $16,000. It's because then they're used to when people, they buy one. So like when you're telling someone to invest and they hear Bitcoin and all this shit, when they're a new, they, they think they have to buy one because that's all they could buy. Right. And then we got, and then, and then I was like, in my head, I was like, bro, what? This guy's, so, and in my head, I was like, well, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. But I, you have to explain it. And that's how I learned how to like educate people on this because people are very stupid. It's like, imagine what? I give you a scalpel and I say, go do open heart surgery on your mom. I'm sorry if anyone's mom is deceased. But yeah, how dare you? I know. Uh, but the, the, you know, like someone that's still alive that you love, and I say, "Here's a scalpel to open heart surgery." Bro, people are gonna shit their pants. And then why would you say, "Here's a treasure"? Put your fifty thousand dollars, and if you make a mistake, it's gone. Well, <laughs> it's like we have to we have to understand how to educate people on this. Yeah, yeah, and that like that's you the key, you, right? you gotta look at someone dead in the eye and say, "You're gonna lose all your fucking money if you're an idiot." You're an idiot. Don't if you don't even know how to use a word document, don't do this. Like you have to be able to look at someone and say that. Swear to God, because mm -hmm. they're gonna lose everything. That's why I told you, bro. Your your friends are fucked. They're fucked.
they gotta trust you for everything to pull out to get in to understand yeah for answers you're yeah. gonna you're gonna have to answer to them oh you're gonna have to give them the excuse you're gonna sound like a fucking scam artist bro <laughs> <laughs> You know, Bro, you I've, been, say, I've you, you, been through this. I've been I pre yeah, I preached I, Binance at three dollars to my friends, and I went. Bro, I remember I was drunk at a party, and I got into like a fucking. My mind was like, "Bro, you need to buy this. You broke peasants," and they're like, bleh, bleh, "You're a whack of all. <laughs> Look at him buying this," and then they still to this day are like. It's only hundred like, X, no, no, no big deal. Yeah, no big deals. You're talking about guys that put fucking ten K on the fucking Mavericks and then they don't watch yeah. fucking basketball, bro. <laughs> or, yeah, bro, fucking bro, the guy I like him, bro. I like the guy, bro, and the Mavericks. I'm gonna put a bet on him. These fucking idiot kids, man. And then you're just trying to explain it to them and like, yo, man, this is how it works. And they're just like, Yeah, I can make money, dude. Seriously? <laughs> They tell me I can give it. Okay, so and they look at you and they go, "Here's a hundred bucks, man. Make me some money." And you just look at them like, "What?" Like I look at people sometimes, then they're like, "Yo, I'll give you the money. You do it." And I look at them, I go, "No." And they go, "Why?" I look at them, I go, "Well, how much are you gonna pay me?" I double your money. How much are you gonna pay me? Yeah, so three things to that. First of all, I got to address the dude in the chat. Pulse Chain Hex, Crypto P Hex, E Hex, Blockchain, whatever the hell your name is, bro. Love you to death. I've seen you before. And no, Richard Hart's not silent because Pulse Chain is near. He's probably sleeping with some women right now, having a really good time. Number two, yes, Hex Maxi, great LP. Figure it out. Number three, people are creatures of habit. Period. They know what they know. And for every person like you, famous, like you, Dan, and myself, that are willing to educate someone, there are a hundred people telling them to, hey, run away. It's a scam, right? No matter what it is, whether it's hacks, whether it's whatever, pick pick a crypto, right? When I first actually got into crypto, like I actually went and like, here's my like hard-earned money, take it. What's well, Dogecoin? And I had a little bit over a million uh, Dogecoins. I was buying it like at the very bottom on Robinhood, just buying the living crap out of it. And all my friends, my boss, everybody was like, oh, oh, this and that, just making fun of me. You should sell it. You need to sell it, blah, blah, blah. Made a good chunk of money right on that first run up. And all of a sudden, later on, I had like 20,000 of them just hanging out. And all of a sudden, Elon Musk comes out and that shit almost goes to a dollar. <clears throat> um, the disappointment, I mean, I still made good money, but for someone that may have sold out because of all the negativity around it from the real world, right? Because we're in a little bubble. Once you're in this bubble, you understand, right? For the most part, you get it. Like, even if you just like bought one thing, you don't know what the hell you're doing. You don't know how to use a hardware wallet. You don't know what the token does. You don't know how to revoke a contract. You don't know how to do anything, right? We still know, but these people are in the real world. And when you get to the real world where people have zero exposure to this and all they know is like, oh, something called Bitcoin that made a bunch of millionaires and it's going to zero. People will sell it, like, get me the hell out of there now. And that, that's the unfortunate part. So you're right. Education is 100% the key to getting people to take, um, regain their sovereignty uh, of their money and freedom. And they don't understand that part because then you start going into tinfoil hat stuff, right? The government this, they do that. This is why you got to do it. And that's too much. That's way too much thinking. The thinking gets done for them every single day. Oh, my Twitter feed said this. My, you know, if you're really old, my Facebook thing said that and my group said that and pick pick a platform cnn msnbc whatever but but you realize that like that we have to realize and have to accept that like bitcoin going to a million dollars i'm sorry sufficient. That? so bitcoin going to a million dollars is sufficient mm -hmm. to everyone's head well you know all, what? All, all that's, these that's on them you so know why they think that way you know why they think that way though just in general and that's what they're feeding everyone else to is because everyone's so attached to the to the dollar they forget about 100%. ratios but we have and, to and realize that, that hex is gonna be a dollar 25. yeah and guess what and if the dollar keeps going down it doesn't matter like i keep thinking about it 15 years from now even if hex is a thousand dollars that thousand bucks gets you a carton of eggs who the hell cares mm -hmm. 
but it's not uh, that's not oh, actually i'm talking okay, about something bad, else. Bad, I, I'm, 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 no no you i know what you're talking about but it's that's because of inflation and that's happening right right, right. The hyperinflation has been occurring for years oh, yeah. yep. probably longer than myself and you oh way longer than that it happened back when the goldsmith started doing uh, fractional reserves um from king henry way back in the day okay, um, so they realized that people were depositing stuff you know not claiming I didn't it realize it was that long well, no it went down like, anyways I yeah know. you're right actually you're right <laughs> actually, no, dude it goes way and then you go back to the roman times all these emperors getting killed like every single time i mean it goes back in history but more recent history it's um, crazy it, it's nuts it, it's insane though the inflation thing is it's all bs we've only had a handful of uh presidents i think that actually paid down to that the only one that ever did it, i believe was uh Andrew Jackson, and then before him, I think Abraham Lincoln, when he came out with greenbacks, he took away the debt, and he goes, "We're just printing our own money and all this stuff." It's a long history. But well, with the hyperinflation, okay, that fu that fucking Bitcoin could go to a million. Right? Let's say it fucking goes to a million. Let's say it goes, okay, just 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 to tickle the Bitcoiners' balls, balls like. like that's a 40x but that's very sufficient in those markets in those big big boys markets like a 40x is pretty fucking incredible um but we got to realize with that 40x what does that bring us to a dollar no mm -hmm. that's a joke you think we're going to be a dollar when it's going to be a million dollars I'm just saying, so like we would want, I would want for Bitcoin to go to a million because imagine how much our thing is going to be. Yeah. And I believe, so, it's like, uh, so, so, so like I believe every Bitcoin, we should look at them and just not argue and just look at them and say, you know what? I want Bitcoin to go to a million dollars. I want you to take over every single currency out there. And I want everyone to have a Bitcoin node in their house. And I want everyone to run proof of stake on ETH. I just want it, man. I hope everything and I hope you make it to a million dollars because at the ratio that it is now, we will be shitting yep. fucking golden bricks. Yeah, and there's that uh, that golden word again. Ratio, Come. right? Yeah. But I'm not and saying you... it's going to happen just in case someone wants to fucking clip it. Suck it. Oh, right. I'm not yeah, saying that. Yeah, yeah. I'll clip it. I'll post it on Twitter and I'll put a poll. Oh, my God. Yeah. But you know what chart people don't look at? The BTC hex chart ever. I do so look well, I know you do. Probably Dan probably does too. There's, there's a, a handful of it's people. It's not that, that bad. <coughs> it's actually not that bad. Yeah. I look at the hex ETH chart. That's horrible. Yeah. That yeah, shows to you what's bad. that shows to you what's happening. Yeah. So we're not. We're actually very core. The price is very correlated to the drop of ETH because people have been buying into ETH as it drops. And the liquidity pools as well. We still have one. There's a Which bit makes that. sense because they would want more ETH. So like when the ETH gets more expensive, they'll have more hex to buy. Yeah. And the people doing LP too. I mean, that they do a pretty heavy bag. Not as heavy as USDC. But they do a pretty big uh, bag of, uh, of ETH. And you get the most returns on that. A little bit uh, hex USDC versus ETH. And I came up winning. I did two LPs at the same time, same range. Made way more money with ETH. So, part of that is going to be the LP. You know, well, that's why already. that's why hex that's why hex and maxi is a good buy because if you're going to take yep. hex and you're going to go do a long term, well, you could bet on, uh, you know, the maxi. Yeah, you're you're ratio trading at that point. Screw the the dollar sign on it. Every day that's that goes by is a less of a day you're going to have to do on that 15 year stake. So when you're yep. getting maxi, you're getting already backed. Yep. Um, you're getting, Desi, you're, Desi too. It, yeah. It is. Yeah, people are hating on Desi. I think that's the because that front runs a fifteen year uh, stake. No, nah, man, I I think uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, well, in the long run, sure, but a ten, you still get the bonus. You oh, still fish. get the, the Maxi has the potential of actually being worth more than the redemption. No, one hundred percent. Maxi's absolutely killer, and that just showcases the five 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 power, right? But I'm saying for those who don't want to be in fifteen years. That's is a pretty good play. If you're still long term, but don't want to actually do 15, because five years is a long ass time. 
yeah for a lot but of that people 15, after 15 years it's like imagine you after 15 years you're able to collateralize your house paid yeah but you're thinking like a young person right no i'm thinking a business it's like imagine being able to collateralize and getting paid yeah yeah no but because you actually have value gotta, backing it no 100%. so it's like imagine imagine borrowing from your house but you're getting paid yeah no i know believe i'm a real estate agent this, the bank, this is what i do paying the bank for the collateral yeah no i give this speech to to every person that comes to me first time home buyers all this bullshit. like i give them a whole speech on how to do it right every single time believe me i know it. But you can't you can't do business if you're dead so there are people with like shorter time <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's what I, that's what I'm getting at. Oh, you you you, you, could, you could if you have an estate holder that's fucking smart. Right? That, that's another problem. That is another you, problem. You're 100 percent correct. <laughs> you could, but yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, AI, man. Forever. Yep. Yep. You could do that too. Someone could program an AI for forever. <laughs> Some rich motherfucker could just go with someone he hates. And when he dies, he just programs the AI to consistently send the guy a bag of shit when he's dead. <laughs> he could probably do that. And every week off of this random ETH bank account or some crypto bank account, someone's going to have a bot that's going to go and trigger some sale and have sent to that guy's house the same fucking package and no one's going to ever be able to stop it. That's hilarious. Like you can't even legally stop it. Because like even if the estate holder has the choice, it's like, well, I can't stop it. The guy did it before he died. I, I, I can't what you want me to do. It's an immutable smart contract. And then it's like no one knows what it is because it's like imagine they create this thing where it's like he goes through like tornado cash every time. And it's always a different wallet every time. And it's a bot. And every time the bot does a new wallet. So they can never actually get the wallet that it gets it from. And it just does all this. And like, okay, maybe not the I same. I mean, you place, could just set up thousands of bro. wallets at that point. Oh, my God. Like... I'm doing it right now, bro. I'm oh, creating, yeah. I guess you could do that with Zen. I'm creating just do a my match dead spam bot. I'm creating a <laughs> famous dead bot. I'm going to do this. When you die, this is like you purchase this. When you die, you could choose to piss off someone in the world. <laughs> You can do it with flowers or something nice, no? Yeah, yeah, anything. You yeah. can say, yeah, it's true. Send flowers. <laughs> fuck that, man. <laughs> Famous is so dark. Send oh, a yeah, bag of shit every time. <laughs> Here's a bag of dicks. <laughs> Chew on them. <laughs> it's like some. I bet you someone's going to do it, man. I know it. <laughs> it's such a smart idea. Yeah. It's like if I die, I'll haunt you forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my buddy tried to do that. He uh, yeah. he got his house uh, taken from foreclosure back in 2009. Oh, and uh, yeah, so I helped him move out of the place or whatever. And he goes, let's go to the supermarket. He grabbed a big ass fish, opened up the attic, and <laughs> sealed it up there. <laughs> and it was the Perfect. heat of the summer. There was like a hundred for like a week oh, or two God. for the bank. After. And they gave him a call. Was like, did you guys kill something? What happened? <laughs> he's like oh my uh, pet fish in the attic <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's hilarious oh my god that's disgusting <laughs> yeah that the messed up part is that uh he fell behind i think like three months and they were already trying they took the house from him he was like dude i just got a job and uh he goes i can pay back like next month they're like nope taking your house so he, he was pissed and I think he had paid it down. He only had like, I don't know, like two years left on the mortgage because he was paying down a lot of it. Uh, I think within like four years. Yeah. So they just took that from him. Relisted it, I think, three years after that for like twice the money. So they took all his money and then relisted it and double dipped on it. Uh, California. Oh, we got a bit in the house. Uh, What's, up, What's up, baby? How's it going, buddy? Oh, what are you still doing up, a bit? It's fucking late. Unless you're not in Europe, he's probably not in Europe. <laughs> he's probably somewhere <laughs> else in the world, chilling. Yeah, he's working out. I could believe that a German working out at three in the morning, hundred percent. He's like, Arnold did it. I could do it. 
<laughs> he's like, I'm in Mexico. You see, I knew oh, it. Oh, <laughs> I yep. knew it. I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. So yeah, he's like, he's just getting know. started. 100%. No, he's chilling right now. He's just, he's, 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 he's putting the after lotion. He's like, ah, let's see what they're doing. How'd you know I'm working out, bro? I'm on a treadmill right now. <laughs> dude, I'm Mexican, dude. I know when someone's working out on my treadmills. That's amazing. Thanks for tuning in, bro. We got Chinese cameras on those treadmills. Watching your every move. Awesome. Hope you don't have a MetaMask wallet on your phone. Take that, too. You guys going to do the Hex, uh, what is it, Crypto Fitness Challenge or whatever? I no. think it starts February um, 1st. No. I'm, I'm thinking gonna about my... Not, um... I'm not going to do the app, but I'm going to probably like post every day and show awareness to it. Oh, 11.8%. Yeah, so no. I got to lose some weight. Yeah, I'm going oh, really? to try. I'm going to try. You got I'm some haters. Gonna... You got some major haters, bro. No, no, I'm, Almost... I'm, I'm going to support it. Like every day I'm going to post. I'm going to try. It's, of course, man. Excited. No, no, no not your workout. Your poll on Twitter. Oh, there's haters. Yeah. Eleven point eight percent said no. It's good APY. Did you just make an account to say no? Who Dan? <laughs> uh, I, I voted yes. Yeah, so I, I could go on the alt account and say no, yeah. Yo, if Cajun was in the spaces yesterday, I'm, I was on the alt account and she came in there, she's like she's trying to figure out who I am. So I just ended up telling her. <laughs> She's like, That's you don't have funny. to hide. You can like other projects. You don't have to make an alt account. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Why? Because you know. were like saying, that you... well, she knew it was you though at one point. No, I told her I'll give her three guesses. And I think her third one was me. Because she, I mean, she heard the baby. And I, I was like, at that point, I was just trying to let her know, you know, whatever. The baby. But I had the deep, I had the deep voice uh, changer on in the space. Yeah. <laughs> Were you in a Zen space? I was in a Zen space. Yeah, for a few minutes, just listening. She was in there too, and CZ was in there, and they were all buddy buddies with them. CZ's like, "Oh, my husband's a day one Zen, Zen, whatever." I don't know. I was laughing. <laughs> I was doing intel for the Hearts Assassins, oh, man. Did, for the Pure Bloods. I was doing intel for the Pure Bloods. Bro, oh, JC, man, went ham <laughs> on that shit, bro. I bet you he went ham, bro. He, he Were went you not in that chat? Were you not? He 100% he went ham. Bro, he went ham. Bro, he's ham still. He went so yeah. ham, I did a few extra wallets because he was going so ham. <laughs> 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 this, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He's talking billions of Zen. But yeah, we'll see. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? I'm really just at this point, I'm just saving up for Pulse Chain and maybe getting it in the first five weeks, like I told you. Technically, everyone can have like thousands of wallets now. That's the beauty. Like now with these NFTs, they could be like. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I don't we'll know see, why man. Could, on... could... Why'd you get me on this Zen talk? Let's go away from it. All right. Why so, you feel like you feel like something bad's gonna happen? We got a bit in here. We're talking Zen. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, 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 it nah, nah, nah. Yeah, and no, I'm just kidding. Oh, I haven't really been something. paying attention with Zen. On it. I actually had like two wallets come out at like 88 days that I didn't even claim my shit for. And yeah, I'm just waiting. Really, I have a bunch of long ones and just waiting. I really don't care what the fuck they do. You're going to invest in Zen 1? I probably won't. So... Well, Are you? I just I just clipped everything and I'm sending it to trap. Oh, he knows. He knows I'm in Zen. I think. I mean, no worries. I don't know, man. I'm gonna send it to him just to be sure, man. Oh. Yeah. 
Ava just did an interview he, with Jack, it looks like. Yeah, he did. It was a really good interview. Oh, okay. Nice. And he did it with another person, too, I think. I think there was someone else. Yeah, was it uh, the Hex Lion who's not bullish on Pulse Chain anymore? <laughs> uh, I was watching that live. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, but that's not so bullish anymore. Be right back, guys. Be Slow. Right back. <laughs> BRB. That was a really bad accent. It's like BRB. All right, that's what it is, man. Yes, the KSB. Bear. He believes Zen guys will come to Hex one by one because they want to have gains at one point. Yeah, for sure. Is well, that the problem, Yeah. The problem is, is that whether we like it or not, they're gonna come. Um, they're just gonna do what. What? What's cool? And what we don't realize is that they could do all the mingling. While we do all the blood talk. And like at the end of the day, because those people who are there are not maxis, they'll still bring them here. So we'll still be able to profit off of them. Right? Because if you don't help them now and you and they come in later, well, you're just profiting off of them. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm sure some people in the Zen community would see the opportunity for sure with Pulse Chain launching and with what Hex did in the yeah, past. Yeah, of course. They're going to help us get all kinds so, of people because everyone in that community is a, is a Hexer kid. And, when, and they're doing me. work. They're coming out with new, you know, yeah. they're not, they, they just didn't launch one thing. So at least they're they're building on top. And I'd just we'll be worried about that proxy contract, but whatever. I'd be worried about that proxy contract. Yeah. What I miss. It is. Oh, we just got to get out in 400 days. <laughs> Wait, what? Man, it's fucking two in the morning, bro. Yeah, we can call it if you if you want, famous. No, you guys can continue. I'm just gonna probably go hit the sack. Be honest with you. That tire, I can't even keep my eyes open. All right. Absolutely. Yeah. Romaine's yeah. like, no, 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 don't leave me in here with Alan. What am he's I going to say? I'm so nervous. He, he's he's <laughs> going to rant about nothing and everything at the same time. <laughs> hey, bitch, come on. Hey, hey, bitch, come on and uh, and do like a little um, a little shill for what they're doing with KSB. If he has time, we could do like a tap and you could I could tap in or. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can man, send I'm the link so if tired. You, you have no fucking clue, bro. I'm up every fucking morning, man. I'm fucking doing shit. We gotta finish fucking things faster now because we have to get the bank appraisals. So we're just gonna borrow from everything. They're asking what's up with the Twitch raid. I haven't done any thing on it since we spoke about it. I think it was last Sunday. So yeah, over a week ago. You can but, still talk about it. We, there's a lot of time, my friend. It's going to be a lot of time to think about it. We got to create a some kind of document for people to you yeah. know, sign up for Twitch Prime and then just organize it. Yeah, we probably need another space, but I'm not going to start one. Uh, one for already people existing and one for people that you, know, you don't want people just to buy Twitch Prime. But like you have to like this is like, you know, we're calling out all Amazon Prime holders and all Amazon Prime hexagons. And then, uh, yeah, we organize a raid. It won't be that many, but we could just do something. We could see if it works. We can get the Sims in the community um, with the other plan as well to go and chat up some uh, lady Twitch streamers. <laughs> Yo, go to finished up a new Hex testimonial. It's epic. The intro is on KSB TV. Check it out. Go play it right now. Okay, one second. We're stealing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go fork it. Go, go, go. Fork it, fork it, fork it. Do the block hide. Well, actually, yeah, if it's out on KSB TV, it's out. 
we go. Please do. Awesome. Thank you, Abed. Oh, we're going to watch a little uh, TurboTax. Yeah. Oh, there's Huddle Dog. We'll do them for you. <laughs> so you can do not taxes. You can hear that, right? Before I yep. Yep, full yep. screen it? Okay. painted a rock one time I called it the razor's edge you know like you can fall off you know it's, it's such a razor sharp thin edge from death to life you know it can happen so just in a split second at some points I've, I've come within seconds of dying started looking at these things like they're god wings within 30 minutes I was in a, a, a coma for 10 days and I heard a voice that said John you don't have to drink anymore uh, you know, I've been an alcoholic all my life. Got a liver in, do you want it? Because they've got to ask you. I said, hell yeah, let's go. Let's rock. So we're flying down the hall, go through these double doors. 40 people jump into action, you know, and I mean, it's game on. I was, I was going to get a liver. Here I was, number one in Texas. Been waiting three months, had hours to live. You I was going to be just, all of a sudden they stopped. I'm going, oh shit, I didn't know what happened, you know, about the insurance, but I, but I knew something bad happened, you know, I was going, well, this is it. So I, I saw one video of Richard Hart, and I went, that dude is my new guru. You know, at least some honesty, I could see the honesty and integrity, you know. I was so far down, you, you know, that spiritually it, 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 it started to make sense to me, you know. Uh, ha looking at Hex in a kind of a, a new way of life. I mean, you know, you've got, here, here he is with a, Richard with a sci-fi book that says, get rich, be loved, live forever. You know, and I took that to heart, man. I was going, yeah, all right. Nice. Nice, man. I like it. Let's go. It's awesome. Yeah, that was fire. I could hear that guy more. We need like a 30 minute interview. With him. The full interview will be oh, up okay. in a couple of days. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, that was nice. He's, yeah, definitely. I'll definitely catch that. I. <clears throat> who has all of the, I guess Maddie Allen has all the testimonials and because that, that would be great marketing ideas if you you know made just a bunch of video with like a hundred video 200 videos of just real people real stories testimonials something like that yeah i would love to clip yeah, some of those and they definitely have that even on the uh the highest stakes is testimonials and stuff like that I love that shit. I love hearing people's stories. So that and the drama keeps me going. <laughs> <laughs> no shortage of drama. No shortage of drama at all. Are there yeah, any I'll live ones? Hey, babe, we could put one live now. Fuck. Just to end the show. If there's one for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, we could post one. You choose. Those Pringles? No, those are ladies. What the heck is that? Is that like the Portuguese version of them? Yeah, it's like the baked. Ah. I love these. Okay, I found another testimonial. 
Or it's called Life Changing Stories. Hold up, before playing it, how long is it? <laughs> two fifty three, just two minutes. Perfect. You gonna dip? Well, if it's two minutes, I can stay. All right. I was let's hoping twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. Richard Hart uh, on YouTube one day, a chance, and everything he said touched me. Lindsay Tracy. I work with Viver Finance and I'm from Albany, New York. Adam Bogosian. I'm from Albany, New York. My name is Brian. Um, you know, I go by Hex Machina online. So my name is Matt Kelly. I'm from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Finding this crypto has made things so much easier. To sit back, live my life, do what I gotta do, and I got this passive income. This little employee that works for me. For me, delaying that gratification means that I get to have financial freedom and financial stability. I just found Hex and it seemed right away, it just seemed different to me. I really feel that Hexicans out of all the other coins out there have this distinctive characteristic about them that is an honest part to be a true human being, to love people, to help people, and just do the right thing. And so it's so crazy, all the Hex meetups I've done, every person I've met here has become like a long-term friend, right? Like you just have that instant bond. And it's because we're different, straight up. Hex has given me a great deal more hope than I ever had for being financially set in my life. Hex gave me hope for the future for myself, for my children, for my financial stability. And that meant everything to me. I've set up my children and, you know, I'm probably going to be retiring a whole lot sooner than I ever thought possible. You know, the, the money is great, but what's important is the time that you have, you know, not having to go to work every day, not having responsibilities that you don't want to create for yourself. Once you have that luxury of being able to not go through that daily grind, seeing people you care about still struggling, still going through it, I mean, it's just something that, in, I guess, instinctively, Hexagon just want to help out and do to, to see people not have to go through that. If you're out there and you're interested in Hex, but you look it up and you see, the first thing you see is negative information. Don't write it off because the first thing you found was a piece of negative information. You're going to learn about it and you're going to love it. And it's probably going to change your life just like it's changed mine. But you gotta hold, you gotta be patient. That's what it's all about. That's cool. That's awesome. We're all crying, Avid. We're all crying. 100%. I love it. I can't wait. I actually wanna see these things. Like, how long are they? Like 20, 30 minutes? Oh, I'm actually down. Like, the Tom G. That's be, I, I watched it twice. It was so good. We should play them in spaces. Sorry, go ahead, man. Yeah, we should, man. We should have like a like a. No, fun, it's great like, for marketing, man. Real people, real stories. You know, testimonials, I like whatever you want to call it. Just it's good. People need real stuff, not the same. Not the same content. It's different. You don't see a lot of that. You don't see other. I mean, I haven't seen other cryptos with testimonials like us so but it's not like i'm out there looking either so have you safe guys moon. in the past yeah yeah, yeah, yeah safe moon but everybody's trying to swim <laughs> <laughs> that's all the videos safe moon. <laughs> i made a killing on that i didn't know any better then oh Alan, the guy who brought in Tony. oh that was before hex bro i brought all those gains into hex Get out of here with that. It's a joke. <laughs> oh my god. You should speak you should speak to Tony then. Who? Tony the Tiger. Is he great? Bro, we got this guy in the spaces that's like infiltrated in the space. He acts like a cool guy. Seems like a cool guy, but he's he's a big safe moon shiller and yeah. ah. <laughs> 
I just but he doesn't really that. bring it up. He's like, he's good at it. He's good at it. It's not like he's in there shilling safe moon, but you know, sometimes the conversation just leads there magically. You guys like paying 10% tax every time? Come here. <laughs> you like getting dumped on your head? Buy this thing. From the company. You get dumped by the company. What do you say? You get dumped on by the company. Oh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's not even real crypto. It's just a company that made a coin, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, man. What do you want to let's let's end it because I, I got to. Yeah. Yeah, it works for me, man. Hang out. Watch, uh, Famous is dead. I got Boardwalk Empire to watch. Oh, nice. I'll probably jump in the spaces. I'm the Hang out in there I'm for a bit. I'm going what, straight to bed. Yeah, what, what's the Tony guy come up on spaces usually? All He's the in there all the time now. Yeah. All right, <laughs> all right, all right. Well, what's it? That's his uh, username, Tony. Uh, his his handle is Tony the Tiger. Some Beautiful. some numbers and his handle is I think Halo Forever right now. Okay, cool. He, he likes sex though. I don't want to fought him out of the uh, the community. I just want to give him a hard time. He, I'm not sure if he owns it. But... Or if you give him a, if you give him a hard time, we will be listening to you so attentively. No one will interrupt you. Why? Because he'll be giving you your. <laughs> You'll get some respect from some people. And I like this Alan guy. This Alan guy speaks the truth. <laughs> yeah, this feels like a setup. But all right, no, it's, no, not. it's not. It's not a setup. You, no, if no. you could do it, you just. Oh well, I mean, you got it. Yeah. Damn, I you mean that, that should be fairly easy if that's what the guy is all about. I mean, if he's well, if he's just if he's just talking. This is his like all to He had, he has another account where he has over ten thousand followers, I think. Oh, and he holds like spaces perfect. called I don't know. Anyways, he holds like safe moon spaces. So yeah, all right, that's cool. I could just troll him the whole time. That's fine. It's all good. Yeah, I can act the part. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> I don't know what his intentions are, but it seems like yeah, he wants to be friends or whatever or learn. Yeah, I mean, he I might be on the he, cost. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he might be on the cost, but from from the sounds of it, he might be on the cost, and he's trying to like figure out how to. Yeah, it, jump, it, jump it's, ship. It's, it's, it's good though. It's yeah, another no, it's, level. It's good. It's another yeah, level no. of fancy will. So we're good. Yeah, and we're awesome. good because he's gonna bring good. He's bringing a different side of what those people were doing usually. Beautiful. So we're left. We're chilling, man. All right. Well, all right. I hope to catch him then. Catch the tiger. So, Dan, we wanna. You wanna say the the parting words? Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, Crypto to learn.com. Um, Alan Fizame on Twitter. Let's get uh, it. KSB.tv. Charity. KSB.tv. Thank you guys. Let's get it. Um, Hex Bola. Six pack man. Oh, I saw his six pack. That was nice. Yeah. That's all I got. I don't oh. have anything else. Let's fucking go, guys. Let's see you next Ooh. week. Thank you, Famous. Thanks for jumping on. Thank you, Alan. My Appreciate pleasure, you. man. Right. Have Thanks a wonderful day. Oops. <laughs> what are you, some sort of hexagon? <laughs>